So today is supposed to be the solar eclipse. So we were talking yes. earlier about um, in the spiritual world, it has to do with releasing the negative and bring it in and in, in kind of like a renew. So can you explain to people, you know, what it means spiritually, the solar eclipse and how maybe people can benefit from it? If there's anything they can do to pr- kind of let go of that negativity or have, you know, some type of connection where they could use that energy from the solar eclipse to actually better their lives or better their spirituality. So um, astrology obviously is part of the solar eclipse. That's the whole astrology thing. Um, and from my understanding is that astrology is also based off of our heaven, luck, our spiritual chart. So I'm, okay. I, I love that you're bringing that up because even when we're creating our charts on our side, the astrology part comes into it because mm-hmm. if you've ever seen as an astrologist, they know like when's the best time for this for you and blah, 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 blah. It's because they're looking into that chart in a certain way that I don't, but, yeah. um, they're doing it differently. And, um, so it always connects with something. And with solar eclipse, um, from my understanding of what my, my friend who studies astrology and things are, is it's really good for the release, the renewal, and clearing out pretty much all that you need to, but also manifesting. So bringing in the energy that you want for your future, how to create mm-hmm. for your future. Um, I always tell people to um, kind of, you can do prayer, you can write notes about how you feel or what you want to release and then burn it and let it go. Yeah. Um, you can, uh, I like, I think I told you that, you know, right after my plan after this is to um, do a lavender shower to clean off my energy. And then um, I want to burn some sage. And then when the eclipse starts, I want to burn some um, sandalwood because sandalwood is um and it, it brings in new energy for you so sandal yeah. was a really good energy for new energy um so i love that um there's there's numerous things of release you can do too one time for release what i did is i took a glass uh a glass plate and i wrote all the crap that i didn't want on it anymore and i put it in a plastic bag and i just smashed it Mm -hmm. um outside that felt pretty good too i'm not gonna lie that was that was it was a good time um but there's just numerous things that you can do to release and bring in that new energy like i said um sage is wonderful um you can also put a uh lavender colored candle in the southeast of your home okay. or whatever room you're in because with feng shui and then that's another episode we'll talk about with earth luck one day um but with feng shui uh lavender is the color of release okay. and when you uh have it in your southeast it helps with releasing so oh, you can put wow. it in the southeast yeah you can put it you can put it in the southeast of any room you want um, whatever room you're in, I should say, but as long as it's in the southeast of it, mm-hmm. um, and then um, you can also put it in the southeast of your home altogether. So if you think of your home as like a box, yeah. what direction is the southeast? So my southeast is a thin part of my living room, and I actually have a lavender candle going right now with in the southeast of my living room. Oh, I like so. that. I like that. Yes. So when I was talking to one of my team members, they were like, I think I'm going to open my window so the energy from outside will come inside the house. Is that, will that do anything? Yes. So you want to make sure, and I, and I actually do that even in the wintertime for about 15 to 20 minutes, I'll open my windows. And the reason for this, is because you have stale energy within your home and it's not releasing anything because yeah. you have it in your home. So when you do open your windows, you're allowing stale energy to release, but you're also allowing the new energy or the new air to come in. Um, it's also best to do that at nighttime too. So if you can, if you can open your window, maybe about an hour or two, right before you go to bed and then you close it when you hop into bed, you will feel remarkable when you wake up. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That sounds really cool.